I got that new new for you. Wonder. What's good? You already know what time it is, okay? You know what the agenda is of this video. We're gonna be doing a hammer metal swoosh. And I ain't never seen nothing like this, all right? Ain't nobody else do this yet. This is that new new, and it's got me excited, all right? Basically, I've always been a fan of hammered metal, and I never knew how they did it. So I, I did my research, you know, I went on the Google, typed in a few things, some keywords, some SEO, some <laughs> and bam, we got it. And right away, immediately, my first thought, we gotta put down a Nike swoosh. That's gonna look hard, that's gonna look crazy. That's what we gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's gonna be a little two in one. You're gonna be able to know just how to do hammer metal, but you also gonna figure out how to make a Nike swoosh. I'm giving you a two piece combo for free. Ain't nobody else doing that, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and list off all the supplies that I use to make this. At first, it's gonna be a three inch block of steel, all right? And this is to do all the hammering on top of. You need this, you need this, all right? You need it. Second, it's gonna be your tin cutters. You can do a lot of different tin cutters. These are just one of the pairs that I had. Depending on how thick the metal that you get, the metal sheet, you're gonna wanna make sure that this is gonna be able to cut through it. Or else, it's gonna be real hard to cut that metal, okay? Real hard. Your hands gonna be like Floyd Mayweather's. They gonna be brittle, brittle. Let's see what we got. A nylon or rubber hammer. And this is gonna be just to flatten out the metal. You can also use a rawhide mallet. That's probably the best case. That one's a little bit more expensive, so I just went with this. And last but not least, the most important, the star of the show, the ball peen hammer, okay? See that right there? Oh, focus, focus. That right there, that's what makes all those impressions on the metal, those indentations, that's gonna give us that nice hammered look, that texture, all right? So if you're interested, go on and watch. And subscribe if you want to, like it, whatever you want. We about to get into it though, with or without you. So once you're done cutting everything, you have your Nike swoosh. What you're gonna wanna do is sand the edges because that's gonna be pretty sharp and you wanna smooth everything out so it looks a little bit more refined, you know? You know? All right. I just wanna let it go for the night. That would be the best therapy for me. Hey, hey, Almost there we at the finishing touches okay all we got to do is put the nike swoosh on the shoe and i'm gonna be using clear grip gorilla glue to attach it you can use any adhesive really okay just make sure it's thick just make sure it's strong nice and strong so it stays there so yeah we about to put that on there and then i'm gonna give you some nice b-roll okay all right is that cool all right let's do it yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Crazy shit I did tonight. Those will be the best memories. I just wanna let it go for the night. Can look all over the nation, but they ain't see. Can look all over, but no, you'll never find hot shit like mine. Whoop, it blow your mind. You can look all over, but no, you'll never find. I'm aware that I'm different. You can still keep it hood while you smoking just 
listen, it don't matter your race, just take a blunt to the face, and we all gon' rock, gotta keep up the pace, and them girls gon' twerk, because the vibe is poppin', as well as the bottles, keep it rockin', no stoppin', at the Motel 8, we gon' park out front, yeah, the flow is unedited, it's like the niggas will front, cause I'm super cut, but realistically in a rally doses, and rap ferocious, I've been coachin' the league, I bobble here in the public, if you love it, M dub it, blood, sweat, and tears, homie, I made of it, finish the classic, you think nothing about it, tell them the great